Given A, the 2 by 3 matrix with entries 2, negative 1, 3, 0, 1, and 5, and B, the 3 by 3 matrix with entries 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 4, negative 1, 5, and negative 3, find AB and BA. We'll start by looking at AB. That's going to be the product of the matrix A with the matrix B it's important to make sure that you copy down all of the entries correctly it's very easy to write something wrong and if you do that in the beginning then everything is messed up so A is a 2 by 3 matrix and B is a 3 by 3 matrix we know that we can multiply these because the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix. And our resulting matrix will have dimensions 2 by 3. So we know that we can set up a 2 by 3 matrix for the result. And to figure out the entries in our resultant matrix, we need to take the inner products of the rows of the first matrix with the columns of the second. So let's start with this first entry in the upper left hand corner. This is going to be the inner product of the first row and the first column. So we've got 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 0 plus 3 times negative 1. So it's going to be 2 plus 0 plus negative 3 and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Then we move on to the next entry, which is the inner product of the first row and the second column. So we've got 2 times 0, negative 1 times 3, and 3 times 5. So that's going to give us 0 minus 3 plus 15, and negative 3 plus 15 is 12. Then for the next entry, it'll be the inner product of the first row and the third column. That gives us 4, negative 4, and negative 9. 4 minus 4 is 0, and then 0 minus 9 is negative 9. Then we move on to the second row, and we're going to be taking the inner product of that with each of the columns of B. So we've got 0 times 1, 1 times 0, and 5 times negative 1. That'll give us 0, 0, and negative 5, which gives us an entry of negative 5 there. Then for the second column, we've got 0, 3, and 25. 3 plus 25 is 28. And then for the third column, we've got 0, 4, and negative 15. 4 minus 15 is negative 11, and so A times B is the 2 by 3 matrix with, uh, with entries negative 1, 12, negative 9, negative 5, 25, and negative 11. Now let's look at the product BA. If we write this out, we've got the matrix B times the matrix A. And we actually have a problem here. I don't know if you're seeing it yet, but if we look at the dimensions, we've got a 3 by 3 matrix times a 2 by 3 matrix. And unfortunately, the number of columns in the first matrix is not equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So that tells us we cannot perform this multiplication. This product is undefined. So for A times B and B times A, the only product that we can actually do is A times B, which is this 2 by 3 matrix, and that is our final answer.